Hi, I'm Wes with Noria, and today we're going to be talking about contamination control, specifically when we're storing our lubricants and when they're in a machine. Now, I do want to give a special thanks to our sponsor of this video. We've got Air Sentry and we've got Oil Safe. So contamination control is obviously a process that we have to get under wraps because it leads to a whole host of machine problems, right? There are studies out there that say 80% of hydraulic failures are because of contamination. One study said 90% of bearing failures are because of contamination. So these are things that we have to get under control. Well, where does contamination come from? Well, this is a cradle to grave process. So starting out, let's talk about contamination in storage. So if we're storing a lubricant, right, we're going to try to, the, we call it, you know, the Trinity here. It needs to be clean, cool, and dry. Well, our storage area needs to be the same way. We want it clean, cool, and dry. We want it climate controlled. As it's climate controlled, we're able to filter the air. We're able to maintain a stable temperature. And this minimizes breathing of the lubricants themselves. Now, as the lubricants breathe, anything in the air is going to find its way into the lubricant. So this is why we're trying to maintain a stable temperature. Now, as we're storing the oil drums, a lot of people will store the oil drums horizontally with the bung in the vent at the three and nine o'clock position. This basically puts it below the oil level, provides a hydraulic lock to where this drum isn't breathing. If we're storing them vertically, especially if we're gonna have big temperature swings, it's not a bad idea to put a desiccant breather on those to help keep the lubricant clean. Now, here comes the other thing. While it sounds simple that we just need to get the lubricant from the storage room to the machine, it can be a little bit harder. We wanna make sure that we're not contaminating it. We wanna make sure that we're not cross-contaminating it. That's accidentally mixing two lubricants together or two different lubricants together. So we need something to dispense the lubricant from the storage room to take it out into the field. So we may use some sort of dispensing rack. This is where like the oil safe bulk storage system comes in because this is a system that's going to allow us to store the lubricant, dispense the lubricant, filter the lubricant all very easily and minimize that risk of cross contamination or just gross contamination to begin with. Now, I've seen some of these out in the field, you know, people have maybe have home built racks or maybe they don't even think about it and they're not labeled. Maybe they've got one pump and every lubricant that goes through that pump, you know, whatever it is, they're all cross contaminated and unfit for use by the time they come out of the tap. Now, with the oil safe system, since everything is dedicated, every lubricant gets its own pump, every uh, its own filter, its own dispensing tap. This is going to keep it a lot cleaner, use it a lot uh, easier. Now, one of our more recent customers here, Blue Buffalo, they won the John R. Battle Award for Lubrication Excellence. They use the oil safe system in their lube room and they absolutely love it. Now, what it allows them to do is filter the lubricants while they're in storage, keeping them a lot cleaner. They can dispense it into their top up or transfer containers to get it out into the field. And it basically maintains the integrity of the lubricant. So as we think about this, we're now leaving the storage area and we're going to the machine with the lubricant. Well, the machines can get contaminated as well. Every time we open up that machine, we're going to have the opportunity or basically uh, allow the risk of contamination to occur. So we're trying to keep the machines as you know tied in, basically put them in a bubble as possible. So we do this by utilizing you know proper sight glasses, you know, eliminating dipsticks and stuff like that, using proper uh, quick connect fittings. But a great place to start is where the machine actually breathes because it's going to be breathing in the air around that machine. And a lot of time in these facilities, that air isn't clean and it's definitely not dry. This is where employing a desiccant breather is a great idea. Now these desiccant breathers, they are going to help clean and dehumidify the air as it comes in. And you know, let's take Air Century's breathers for an example. They are multi-part construction. So as the air comes in, it's going to go through a, a synthetic fiber or some sort of particulate filter to remove solids from the air. And then the air continues to go through the desiccant itself. And as it goes through the desiccant, this is the same kind of stuff that you find in your beef jerky bag. It's going to dehumidify the air. And then the air can go into the machine and it is now cleaner and drier. Now, as that air goes through the desiccant, we are going to be seeing a color change on that desiccant. And this serves as a really good inspection point for a lot of your machines. We want to notate, you know, which direction the color change is coming from. Is it coming from the top down, the bottom up? Because what we're able to determine is, all right, is it dehumidifying incoming air? That's what we'd expect it to do. 
Or is it dehumidifying the headspace of the machine itself? which would give you a good indication that you've got water contamination inside that machine. So it's a very useful inspection tool. Now, contamination control, cradle to grave process by employing some of these you know, simple devices, it can really help extend the life of your machine, help you extend the life of your lubricant. To find more information about the products we talked today, visit the link below. To find more great educational content from Noria, please visit our YouTube channel.